T.K. Kowalczyk has an amazing story to tell, and I'm going to let him tell it to you right now. So, I want to get right into this because you have a lot of information, okay? Okay. Now, you play with the convertibles. Mm -hmm. You're the keyboard player. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Give me a little history about yourself and, your, and how you play keyboards and all of this information about around keyboards. Yeah. Yeah. I started playing about six years old. I uh, came home from school. I found out that my grandmother, great-grandmother and great-grandfather had passed away. Wow. And there was a piano delivered in our living room. Mm -hmm. I started playing. I played a tune, and it was the blues. Three. So I was self-taught, went through high school, self-taught still, took some lessons, wasn't really getting the reading concept down, but mm -hmm. I played tremendously by ear, I was, so I was told. Uh, got into college and took some classes, so I minored in music. Uh, by the time I was done, I ended up having three degrees, so wow. it really did pay So you learned to, to read somewhere along the way. Yeah. I mean, not... Not read books, read music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can chart pretty well and then read wow. with them. But there's a lot of cats that are out there that read a heck of a lot better than I do. Okay. Um, I moved from Michigan to California on a really good opportunity with the Roland organization, which mm -hmm. is uh, Roland USA, and they make wonderful keyboards, and they're big in the business. I was with them for just a little over a year or so, and an opportunity came up to work for uh, Yamaha Music Corporation. Wow and for their electronic keyboard uh, division. It was just a tremendously cool company to work for, learning about MIDI. I was there at the very infancy stages when the DX7 came out Wow! and worked with Gary Leuenberger and some of the FM technology cats mm -hmm. to help bring this tremendous 61-note beast to the marketplace. Between Michigan and then you came here to California. Yeah. Were you playing? I was, quite a bit, yes, yeah. because they give you samples. You have mm -hmm. product that's given to you, so you come home and you can't wait to, you know, you show your demos all day long and you get tired of the same lick. Right. Mm -hmm. So I would experiment and get into layering and some technical stuff. There are some programmers that are out there that are far better than I am. Mm -hmm. But I learned early on that you have the attention of these folks who are interested for a very short period of time. Right. So you better deliver the goods. You've worked with the top. Famous people, household names. Let's talk about that. Sure, absolutely. Uh, the, making visits as a district manager to West LA Music, to Guitar Center, uh, as a salesman mm -hmm. and a marketing rep, uh, I would be demonstrating the product to clients. Uh, I ran into a couple of folks from the war camp. Uh, they were interested in learning how to work the product. So I ended up working with Lon uh, Lonnie Jordan of War. And uh, then I would switch on over and go to after hours I would go to Center Stage, yeah. Studio Instrument Rentals, mm -hmm. uh, the, all the big area rehearsals, mm -hmm. and just hang out. And I got called in to the, with my gear of course, I got called in and met the Yes Camp and Will Alexander introduced me to uh, the Wizard. Some of the cats that I have worked with, mm -hmm. this is one of the best and the most favorite, Emerson, Lake and Palmer. <sighs> I got a call from their camp and our product was able to create the dub p dub bass that greg lake wanted wow get a call none of our techs can handle it i go out there with the keyboard and i actually created this keyboard driven uh p bass for keith to play while greg's doing the guitar work 
One of the favorites that I've got is, uh, remember I was working for Kurzweil Music Systems, mm -hmm. we came out with new product. Mm -hmm. One year, the manufacturer, Kurzweil Music Systems out of Korea made a decision to improve this PC-88, which was a killer yeah. 88 key action. Yeah, great. Great sound, Fender Road yeah. strings, you name it. Triple Strike Piano was great, Busendorfer action and sound and, and samples. Got a call from a guy by the name of Tony Smith who was working with the Elton John camp indicating that the Grammys were going to be coming up. Can Elton get his hands on a new piece? Mm. And uh, we got it approved. The shipment came in. It was uh, February 9th. The Grammys are the 12th. Uh, I get the gear. I check it out, put it back in the box. The next day it's raining like hell. Mm -hmm. Drive up to center stage, and Elton had rented out 10,000 square foot, the largest facility. And in the very center of it is this beautiful console, like three times the size of this, mm -hmm. empty cross rack for this keyboard. Right. A couple speakers and management and that type of thing. So I walked in, got the keyboard, unpacked it, put it in, and Elton walks in and he says, I'm going to need you to pick me up a, a stool for the 12th. And my management team, we need you to be there at the event. Jeez, I get wow. to go to the Grammys. Okay. So he sets it up and he goes, you know, it's purple. I said, yeah. <laughs> and uh, Tony, make a note of that. <laughs> so I'm thinking this, it, he's not going to use it. Right. And he, he loved the sound. It was really an improvement over the previous model. Wow. Having said that, once we get it all together, he loves it. He beats the hell out of it. And I have to bow out because his management team was kind of getting... Ancy. We got to the went to the Grammy the final the night, the twelfth, and you get there early, so we're setting things up and I'm suited up and I'm looking good and we've got this purple keyboard coming out. And <laughs> Elton comes around the corner and I swear to God he has a purple suit on to match the keyboard. Wow. Swear to God. And we had little chit chat. He had a gold Fabergé egg hanging from his ear. So to make small talk, I'm sitting there talking and yakking at him. And I said, where'd you get this? Oh, the queen mom just gave it to me. Do you like it? Here, try uh, this. Look at this. 24 karat Fabergé egg, about the size of a golf ball hanging. Wow. So he said, you're going to come to the mixer tonight. It's directly after the concert. Tony will take care of you. I'm solo. So yeah. I go over to whatever hotel it was. I can't quite remember on Sunset Boulevard. So, now, you told me a story about uh, around the face-to-face -face with yeah. Elton and Billy Joel. There was something about they raised money. What they did, basically, the face-to-face -to -face tour was magnificent. Mm -hmm. you got Elton on one side, who's playing Billy Joel tunes. you got oh, wow. Billy Joel on the other side, who's playing Elton tunes. Oh. And both bands mixed. Three-hour concert at the Staples Center. Um, it was bizarre. I was working with both camps. So on yeah. one side, Billy's gear. I would calibrate that, get that ready. And then Elton, I really didn't have to do much. His tech mm -hmm. was, and his player at the time, was very, very good. These guys were so cool. Billy was so nice to my daughter and uh, my wife at the time, we were sitting right next to uh, Slash. Well, thanks for the stories, I really Yeah, there's that. more, but you know, you try yeah. to condense it down and... Oh, we are... could, well, yeah, we could spend a week with these, sure. on these stories. Sure, But it was good, it's good stuff. I really stuff, appreciate huh? it, yeah. yeah, really good stuff. And by the way, your dad mm -hmm. played NFL football, right? Oh, where'd you get that information? Uh, I heard it from a little birdie. Oh, interesting, yeah. yeah, he did. He played for the Philadelphia Eagles, <laughs> Dallas Cowboys, and uh, Detroit Lions, he did a little stint with Oakland as wow. well. These are single bar times. Uh, he played offense and defense. Wow. And uh, he, I think if I remember correctly, he averaged 4.7 yards per carry. Um, he, he passed away last year, uh, oh, but sorry, he lived a that. long life. Thank you. Yeah, he was a good man. Um, hmm. So yeah, got wow. some lineage behind him. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Thanks, man. Hey, thank you. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. I'll okay. see you soon. Right. Maybe over by the piano. Yeah, maybe over by the piano. Yeah.